Have you ever heard anybody fly like this before? Have you seen this? No. Type of, like crazy flights like this? Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, Mr. Lee. Enjoy your flight. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Noel, how, how many times has this been for you? Like 25 times. <laughs> I really appreciate this, guys, because uh, when people come to Saigon and I have to show them the same thing over and over yeah, again, yeah. I get pretty annoyed. <laughs> so they, thank you for uh, enduring the canals of Amsterdam. <laughs> This is real, so look excited. You can't overact. Oh yeah, and abonneer and like and comment and reageer here beneden. Yeah. You watch too much YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so as we're on this boat right now, um, I got a message from KLM. My flight, which was supposed to leave at 4.30, is canceled. So now they put me on an Air France flight that departs at 1.35. So that means we don't get lunch. <sighs> it's okay, it was still Kuroska. Yes, that too, yes. <laughs> that too, yes, yes. It, it, was, it was still Kuroska. That too, yes, exactly. And Chris Kuss. And you Both, still yes. would like to make a picture of the Western shirt. Uh-huh. No, okay, because I, I feel like the 150 is, is or the 150 departure time is too close. I, I don't have enough time to get there. Yeah. Okay, so the lowdown is uh, all the direct flights from uh, Amsterdam to Paris is all booked. All booked. This is travel drama. Travel drama. So much drama. Yeah, by by 6:30 the latest. He's still trying to figure it out. <coughs> this whole episode is like canals and then drama at the airport. You know, I, I think let, we, let's just head out. Let's just head out. I, I don't think there's much okay, optimism here. He was pretty. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, 14.35. Thank you so much, yeah. Oh, Thank you nice. so much. Yes. It's okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. See you soon, okay? You're See you welcome, soon. welcome, okay? Okay, nice thank you. Stuff. Pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Keep in touch. Okay, for sure. Bye. Thank okay. you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Oh man, I want to stay longer. <laughs> Bye. Fortunately, we are unable to do your check-in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am so happy to get this piece of paper. Um, what happened was they booked me in a Lufthansa flight, which I would have missed if it wasn't delayed. Unfortunately, Lufthansa couldn't check me in uh, because there were some issues. So they sent me to KLM, and then KLM couldn't sit, check me back in, and then they gave me a new flight to Air via Air France, so now I don't need to go through Frankfurt or anything like that. It's a direct flight. It's been delayed, the fog issue, but nevertheless, it's gonna give me more time in Paris onward to the next connecting flight. Um, <laughs> let's hope that it doesn't get canceled either. <laughs> I feel very relaxed right now because just five minutes ago, I was about to cry because <laughs> I was gonna miss the flight here to Frankfurt. <laughs> Oh, alright, let's go through security. Oh my god, this technology is driving me crazy. Wow, this is making me wait here. Wow, just give me a live person, this would have been a lot faster. <laughs> okay. Take the printed assistant coupon, sure. Wow, that took like uh, an hour. 
<laughs> to do this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to board the flight right now, and that's going to be the end of Europe, at least for now. And sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, what is the true meaning of happiness? And I think I found glimpses of that in Europe. True happiness, to me, consists of interpersonal relationships and connections. Friendships with new and familiar faces as well. And Europe has definitely given me that. I'm so appreciative of everyone who has made this series possible. Everyone who has opened up their lives, their time, their families to me. And I couldn't have done it without you guys watching right now. So thank you. Thank you for supporting me on this journey. And I know this journey won't last forever. It's a sojourn. It's temporary. Nothing ever lasts. But these friendships that I've made with these people all over the world definitely will go out there and travel for yourself. If you follow a passion, the universe will reward you. It will respond. And it definitely has given me these amazing opportunities. Sure, the sights and the food and the history is amazing, but the people in Europe have been amazing. <laughs> I'm... Well, I gotta go. We're gonna see another amazing person in Shanghai as well. Shanghai, yes. Wow. Uh, all I can say is wow. The uh, it was my dream come true to see the the, the Bund area here, where all the uh, skyscrapers. All right, and uh, of course, it's my dream to do it with Kevin Cook. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, 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 well, this is the first time I've seen Kevin with pants. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is the real world where uh, we actually have to wear a jacket when you go out. It's pretty chilly right now, but uh, this 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 ambiance with the lighting and just the, the skyscrapers all around. This is way more than what I actually had a previously imagined. Like I knew that the Shanghai skyline was magnificent, but I didn't know it was gonna be brilliant. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's new? Oh man, all kinds of stuff. Well, you know, I'm, I'm no longer traveling full time. I live in Shanghai, I'm working, and uh, you know, it's really cold. Like Kyle said, I'm wearing pants, which is something I don't like, but you gotta do it in this kind of weather. And uh, yeah, man, just right. living the Shanghai life. All right, let's eat. You find two dos. Two dos. Yeah. 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 It's like it's still on a point. Um, let's see. Uh, like you find all time. Yeah, it's wrapped up. Why, why is it wrapped up like this? Okay, so uh, yeah, pretty much if you go to any restaurant in China, like a sit-down place, they have uh, a plate, a bowl, a spoon, and like a cup that's wrapped up in plastic. Yeah. I've never really understood why. I think it's just because of like sanitary purposes. Because why? they're gonna wash it back there and then wrap it up back there, or do they send it somewhere else? I think it's just to keep it from getting covered in dust. Yeah. Because right. it's it's right. like just sitting it's, it's around. Sitting, yeah, it's, it's an interesting concept. I never thought of it. Uh, this is called tudo so, and it's spicy and sour shredded potatoes. Wow. With the swan lada. What is I mean, this? What is this? I don't, it's just cabbage. I mean. I just ordered cabbage. I don't know the exact name, but um, every time that they serve this, it always has a flame underneath it. <laughs> when in China, you have to eat the duck, the Peking duck. Yeah. Right. Um, wow. Wow. I am uh, quite just excited wait. for that. Wow. Guys, the streets here are so wide in the middle of the night. It's so hard to cross. They're so big. It's like you gotta run across. They give you 20 seconds, but it's never enough. MTV Cribs. Oh, washing machine. 
This is it. This is where the magic happens. Kevin's uh, uh, roommate is probably sleeping, so here's a bathroom, Chinese toilet, Chinese shower. Okay, so I slept for about an hour. Thank you again, Kevin, for your time and <laughs> your space. Um, I didn't want to sleep too soundly because I was afraid I might miss the alarm clock, but uh, here I am in the streets trying to catch a taxi. It's 4.30 in the morning. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, what an adventure so far. A bit more challenging to catch a taxi at this time of the day than I thought. Pudong Chichon? Pudong Chichon. The airport. Uh, Pudong Chichon. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, Pudong Chichon? Airport? Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. checked in and absolutely nothing is open right now but then again it's not even 6 a.m. yet uh, I thought I could you know check in and get to work on editing and something but it's not gonna happen um, I'm waiting for my flight to come in right now and you're probably wondering why not just fly direct why didn't I just go from Amsterdam to Saigon or Paris to Saigon well two reasons first the cheapest flights uh, sometimes are not direct, uh, so I had to take all these extra flights and have a long layover. But the long layover is good because I got a chance to see Kevin as well, and I also got a chance to meet some of his friends last night, and they were great people, very welcoming. And if I sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm I haven't regained my voice yet from I don't know. Sometimes if I don't sleep, I don't have a voice. So forgive me for that. But uh, I guess I'm just going to wait here and board and... Uh... Okay, I landed. Here I am in Kunming, waiting for my bag right now. And I'm a little bit nervous because with a long layover, they stored it somewhere. And I hope they put it on the next flight. If I lose that bag, I'm down to two pairs of pants, period, that I now own. Okay. I think I'm gonna go talk to somebody. This might seem like deja vu, but it's a similar backdrop, similar airport, and similar framing, but I'm about to board right now. The suitcase is still lost. Uh, remember to get a departure card before getting into immigration, or you'll be like me, stuck in the back of the line again and barely making the flight. Uh, I'm starving right now, but there's no time to eat. The jet lag and the lack of sleep the past few days have uh, kind of taken a toll on me. But nevertheless, I'm still quite appreciative of the fact that I got to see China finally. And I know that I barely saw anything. I know that even if I spent the next 40 years, 50 years here, I wouldn't be able to see it all because this country is vast. And there's so many different diverse uh, cultures and sights and sounds and foods. And I will come back when the time is right, and I don't know when that time will be, but for now, time to get on the plane and uh, head back to Saigon, and, uh, and we'll see what's gonna happen next. I wish I could sleep on the plane, but I have a tendency to drool the flight from Shanghai to here. I drool all over my black jacket, that's why you don't see it right now on me, uh, and I wonder what the people next to me were probably thinking of this guy who's sleeping and drooling and all over himself and his camera. Yeah, the camera right now is kind of covered in drool. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Ugh. Vietnam, when I left Amsterdam, it was three degrees. Shanghai was maybe five degrees. And it's 30 degrees right now. Vietnam. And I am back, and so it is a familiar face, guys. It took me 
three hours to get from the airport to right now and I showered. I left at 4.30 uh, from the plane, got back to Saigon South about 7.20 and here I am now finally eating some meat, some familiar food. Right, three days without much food or water or anything. And uh, this is a new beginning because old boy is going to live with me for a little bit. Well, what's it going to be titled? My Korean roommate? Yeah, so this is it. Um, you can have my room and I'll just take the office. This is it, your life in, uh, in one suitcase, huh? It's, yep. it's all my belongings. Uh, do you feel like you hit rock bottom now that you have to stay with me? I'm with Kale down there. Yeah, that's pretty close to rock bottom, yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'm the one who feels like I hit rock bottom because I have to sleep here um, on this, which is not even a bed, but that's okay, you know what? Uh, what the heck was that noise? Um, oh man, this is, uh, this is gonna be tough. A friend in need is a friend indeed, so I'm happy to help. This is the first time that we're gonna actually be living together. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. Um, this is our first night together. Um, Got some beer. That's how we do right here, man. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. Anyways, uh, at least well, we're gonna try it and uh, see what happens. I miss Europe, guys. I miss mm. it a lot. Because uh, <laughs> the drunk people weren't like this. Um, anyways, uh, I've been Kyle, and thank you uh, so much for following uh, this adventure. Yevato is here. Check out his channel. He's doing daily releases. I hope by the time this video is released, I hope you're still doing daily releases. <coughs> and, and check out Kevin Cook's channel too at uh, Monkey Abroad. Some great content. I love his $20 series a day. And special thanks to everyone who has made this uh, video possible. Noelle and her family. And of course, you guys for watching. Good night. You can't keep drinking like this. It's, it hurts your health. Your weight and your sanity. Actually, the people who don't drink get cancer faster. I've noticed that. Comment below. This is gonna be long days ahead. Are you gonna drink every night? Every night. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>